Harry, what are your thoughts when a girl says that her giving you her number or even asking for yours is like if she reaches out 100 times and that guys should be doing all the reaching out and asking out on dates, basically doing all the work? I don't necessarily agree with the part of her comment where she's like, well, if I give you my number, oh my God, that's like me reaching out a whole lot. But it is a thing that women will do if they have high interest in getting to know you more. And for women, having to do any kind of approach at all is like a major step. Like it's a huge freaking deal to them because on their side of the dating equation, their egos are tied up into feeling attractive and feeling wanted and being desired. And that comes from when men are approaching them and giving them attention. So if she has to go up to you and ask for that attention, then yeah, that's kind of like her stepping out of her comfort zone because again, she's used to this idea of being approached. So to them, it feels like a major deal. So on that end of things, like them giving you the number isn't the biggest deal in the world necessarily to you. To them, it probably feels like it. I wouldn't equate that with them reaching out a hundred times, but the fact that she even gave you the entryway to be able to contact her is, is pretty big in itself, right? So then at that point, at the point that you actually get her number or her Snapchat or whatever means of messaging she's given you, right? The part where she's saying that guys should be doing all the reaching out and asking out on dates, basically doing all the work. Well, she's half right. The, the reality is that in the beginning of dating, you as the guy should be doing most of the reaching out. Now, where this gets mixed up in a guy's mind is they assume that that means that in addition to reaching out for dates, they also need to be reaching out to, to send good morning texts or to send how are you's or to inquire about her day. And that's where for a guy, it may seem like it's overlooked because you're thinking, great, so now I got to contact her for dates and contact her for all this extra texting. And what I try to tr stress to you on this program is that all that extra texting is not necessary. Like if you are the guy that she's assuming, if she's playing her part where she's like, okay, I'm going to let the guy come to me and, you know, ask me for a date, then that is the only time you should be reaching out. You should be reaching out to ask her for the date, to plan the date out and to, you know, figure out what that's going to look like. But that's it. You shouldn't be doing all this extra. And where guys trip up is they want to do the extra and then they get annoyed that the woman's not texting them back as much. When the reality is you should not be using the phone to try to get to know her. You shouldn't be trying to build rapport, send emojis, send all these various memes and stuff. Like that's the kind of stuff you can do once you're in the relationship and there's less likelihood of her like being annoyed by it. But in the beginning, yes, you should be doing all the reaching out to ask her out on dates. And what will happen is around date like three or four, because you let's be real. Most women, if, they, if they're not feeling you, by date two, they're probably going to get rid of you. Like really by date one, but like some girls will be like, well, I need to go out again with them just to see whatever. And so they'll give you a second date and then they'll be out on their way, right? So on that end of things, you won't have to worry about if she's going to ever contact you because after that second date, You'll probably reach out to her a third time and she'll be like, oh, well, you know, uh, something came up or, or my boyfriend's back or whatever. And it is what it is. Right. But a woman that has agreed to like three or more dates, that's a woman that is starting to build interest in you, at which point you're going to see something interesting start to happen, which is that she's going to just randomly text you to ask you about your day, to ask you weird stuff like, how'd you sleep? Or what did you eat today for lunch? And that's an indicator that she's starting to like you. So. If you keep your texting at a minimum when you're in the beginning and you just keep it to, you're only using texting or calling to ask her on dates, then as she starts to like you more, she'll start to want more of your attention, at which point she'll know that the only way she can get more of that attention is if she comes to you. I've had several guys write me say, hey, you know, Harry, I've been seeing this girl for a while and I've been like following your texting thing. And then she came to me and said, hey, why don't you text me more often? That's what you want to happen because that's going to let you know by, from her that she's starting to like you more and she wants more of your time and attention. And it's better for her to come to you and ask for more of your time and attention than for you in the beginning to just give it freely and then wonder why she's saying things like, well, this is going too fast or I need a bit of space or, whoa, slow down there. Like if a woman's telling you that, that indicates that you're doing the most and that's not good. And that's why it, one of the things I... I I talk about in my ebook 
in the Stop Losing Women ebook is this idea of men think they need to be there all the time. And that's one of the things that causes you to lose women. As you start to apply patience to your game and you back off a bit, you will find that women will start to come to you and they'll be attracted to you a lot faster. So that's a good lesson to learn in general as a guy early on is that yes, when you get her number, it is your job to reach out to her to ask for dates. It is not your job to reach out for anything other than that. And if she wants to talk to you more than that, let her be the one to reach out to you. And you might be thinking, but Harry, what if she's like traditional or like is like not texting me or reaching out to me between dates? She shouldn't technically be doing that. We've been tricked to believe that women should be talking to us all the time and wanting to reach out. But the reality is it's better for you to not have so much communication in between dates. You know what I think about? Because I thought about this today, right? Let's say you're going throughout your day and you get up in the morning and then you have a meeting to go to. Some good news happens at your meeting. And then you go to lunch and you see this like really interesting thing. Like you see a bird fly into a window or something, right? If you were not texting all the time, when you met the woman for the date, you could say, she'd say like, tell me about your day. And you'd be like, oh man, so I had this great meeting this, this morning. This, this deal happened that I really wanted to go through. And so I'm going to get some extra money from that. I'm excited. Oh, and then the weirdest thing happened during lunch. I was looking outside the window and I saw this bird just like bump into a window. And you'd have those stories to tell versus if something happens in the morning at a meeting, you text her, hey, something great just happened at this meeting. I'm so, I'm so happy about it. And then a bird hits the window. Hey, I just saw this bird hit the window. Oh my God, it was so weird. And then you meet up for her for dinner later. You've already talked about your day to her during the course of the day. You now have nothing to talk about, which makes the conversation boring or dead when you actually see her in person. Versus if you don't do that, you'll have more to talk about. So this is why I'm saying overall, yes, your job is the guy's communication early on to ask her on dates. Don't do more than that. And that's totally fine. But it's perfectly acceptable for women to assume if they give you the number, yeah, you're going to be the one reaching out to them until their feelings start to grow. But that's, part that, that's the part they're not going to be able to tell you because they're not going to, they're going to understand the mechanics of guy needs to have number to hit me up first because I don't want to do that. The part they can't quite explain is that if they like you and they start to feel more things for you, even if everything in her body's like, but he's the guy, he needs to reach out. She's not going to be able to help herself but to reach out. And they can't tell you that part because you're a new guy. And so that means that she has no feelings for you yet. And that means that she doesn't know for sure if she's going to build enough feelings for you to want to be the one to reach out. And you can't ask that of her. You just have to know that if you're doing your part, and being consistent and asking her out, and she's being consistent and saying yes to dates, after the third or fourth date, like clockwork, gentlemen, she will start to reach out. So hopefully that answers that guy's question. Also be sure to check by introvertdatingsuccess.com and check out my ebook, Stop Losing Women, The Ultimate Guide to Getting the Women of Your Dreams. This is a book that is based on a previous podcast I did that'll give you the ins and outs of how to meet and attract women, and more importantly, not lose them when you get them. So in addition to the ebook itself, which you get, you can go to the webpage, introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the products tab, and then click on this book. You'll see it right in the product section and you'll get to read everything this book is about. This is just a litany of things that you will learn by going through this book. Uh, so in addition to the main book itself, you can just roll through all that. You also get additional bonuses when you get this book, a special report called Alpha's Unleashed, 10 Ways to Harness Your Masculine Energy and Amplify Your Sexual Chemistry with Women. We also have a Holiday Dating 101 ebook, which is going to be great for you guys that are trying to date during the holidays that are coming up. It can be very, very hard to do so, but my guide will walk you through how to do that. And you also get a video bonus which is called First Date Like a Boss. If you've ever wondered what you should be doing on your first dates in order to attract women the best way possible, then this video is like an hour long and it's gonna give you a leg up in how to do that. And then lastly, I forgot to mention this also, uh, you get another bonus, which is you get three free live interviews with the Dating Experts audio. So uh, as part of my Introvert Dating Success Academy community. I have a bunch of audios whereby I interviewed over like 30 something experts that give their take on dating relationships, right? So I've included three of those audios as bonuses for when you get the Stop Losing Women ebook. So again, you can check that out at the website, check it out. And I promise you, you guys will get a kick out of it and what it has to offer because it's helped a lot of guys already, which is the only reason I've been talking about it extensively on today's show. <laughs>